dear Madam President, dear Toastmaster members, dear guests. Do you know how many Russian people was killed during Afghanistan war, during four years of the war? Nine years. Thirteen thousand. Sorry, two. Thirteen. Thirteen. Around fourteen thousand. That's correct. That's a lot of people. When I was a kid like this, my father used to go to the Afghanistan war. And you know what I did? I was crying when he's gone. I told him, Daddy, don't go. I was little. But I would like to talk about different thing. I would like to talk about another war. The war we have on the streets. Do you know how many people was killed in Russia last year? 30. Exactly. That's very good knowledge. That's a comparison. One year, Russian roads. Four years, Afghanistan war. Nine years. Three, four, OK. So what we can see the difference? Eight times more people dying on the roads than we have people in Afghanistan war. Isn't that scary? We have multiply reasons why it's happening. But I am going to talk about two reasons about why it happened road incidents and people die. Overspeed and drinking while driving. Let's start with overspeeding. Who is driving the car? Just raise your hands. That's about half, yeah? But other half is a is passing the roads every day, yeah? So they feel the, the same, yeah? I would like to give a simple example. Talking about speed kills and this and that might be difficult. Let's have a look at the picture. That's nice Ford Focus. Very easy to drive, very nice to speed accelerator. And you're driving this car, and you have 120 kilometers per hour. That's not too much, just a little bit over speeding. And you see the person passing the road, and you feel you will not be able to avoid the collision with him. And you press the brake, you press it hard. What's happened after that? When you hit a person, your speed is 80 kilometers per hour. 80 kilometers per hour. You know what's happened to this person? 100% fatality. Another example. Your speed is 90 km per hour. Same circumstances, you drive in the same car, same road, 90 km per hour. You see the person, you press the brake. You hit the person only with the speed 30 km per hour. The chance the person will die only 7%. What is a huge difference? What is a huge difference? Reason number two, drink and drive. I convinced myself driving two times in my life the car under alcohol influence. And when I remember, I am thinking that I would not have whatever I have in my life right now if something would happen at that moment. You probably all heard about the blood alcohol concentration. Some numbers we can hear from TV, we can hear from police on the roads. But what does that mean? Let's take an example. Madam President, what is your body weight? <laughs> 49 kilograms. Okay. We have 45 and 55. Let's take a 55, yeah? Let's take 45. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's take a 45. So the numbers will be even closer. And let's talk about, about some unit of alcohol. We call it a it's like one unit of alcohol, which is equal one shot of the strong alcohol, one bottle of beer, and one glass of wine, which is about equal. So what's happened? So you drink one shot, and it's coming to 0 0.5 promiles in your blood, the alcohol, which is meaning to the chance that the risk that you will have an incident increase two times. Then you have a couple more, and the chance go up to seven. Keep drinking. After the first one, the chance that you will have an incident increased to the 25%. My son doesn't know this all. If he would know that so many people are dying on the roads, he would be probably crying every morning when I'm going outside of my home. My wife probably would be very surprised that 
if she would let me go to the war, she would be thinking, wow, maybe he will return or not. And if she would know these numbers, he would probably about exactly the same thoughts every day when I'm coming back from my work. But what I'm feeling when I'm telling you all about this, I'm feeling that I'm decreasing the risk that this is going to happen. And I'm feeling that when I'm coming back to home, and when I remember that I had a chance to share this information with you, I have a chance when I will be driving in my car or I will be passing the crossroad, I will have a chance not to be on the wheels. Because you will be on the wheels, but you will remember about this all and you will avoid this happen. Thank you very much. <laughs>